This shape is a tetrahedron. It is a pyramid with four triangular faces and it's beautiful for its symmetry and its simplicity. It's also a very useful object in the mathematical subject of topology. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to build a tetrahedron out of dominoes. This differs from the traditional 3D domino pyramid that has a square base. The first step is to build a hexagon that is three levels tall, like this. And next we're going to build hexagons here and here. And we want to make the hexagons on either side in such a way that there will be another hidden hexagon sitting right here. So it will look like this. And the important thing to notice here is that the space in between the hexagons that we've built itself forms another hexagon. So we'll continue to do more hexagon towers uh, so that we get a triangle that is a height four. So now we've built a triangle of 10 hexagon towers that are three levels high. And the next phase is to connect these hexagons with another layer of hexagons above. And the key to, is to notice that the space in between the hexagons that we built is also a hexagon. So we want to build a hexagon over it like this. And we want to do the same thing for the hexagonal spaces between. So we want to build yellow hexagons here, 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 and here. So now we finish the yellow tier, and we're going to want to make another tier of hexagons that will fill in the space between the yellow hexagons that we've built. So we want to build blue hexagons over this space, here, and here. And finally, we will want to build a hexagon in the space between the blue hexagons that we've already built. And there we go, we have built a domino tetrahedron. To topple the tetrahedron, my recommendation is to use a small to large set so that it hits the corner in this way so that you can hit both the bottom tier and the second tier of dominoes. Another way that will also work really well is if, is if you use tape and string to pull out one of the dominoes in the top tier. Another recommendation is that this is about the smallest tetrahedron that you should build. Anything smaller is going to have a little bit of trouble falling. And we are ready to knock this down. Thanks for watching, I hope that you found this tutorial useful. If there are other tutorials that you'd like to see, let me know down in the comments section. Make sure to subscribe so that you can keep up with the latest Domino videos that I'll be producing.